Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading for you guys. So a freestyle timeless reading for me is just basically asking the universe to bring in whatever guidance, information, messages are relevant to the Pisces collective at this time. So this is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is the Pisces Club, so if by any chance you're any of those, um, this is the place to be, you guys. I would invite you, I will invite you, I am inviting you <laughs> to subscribe. We're getting closer to 60,000 Pisces here, so please subscribe. Help me out. Help me reach that super mega milestone. Super excited about it. If you ever want to say thank you for the readings, if you're a current uh, subscriber, supporter, you can always get your Pisces Club mug. I do daily readings, and every morning we have our coffee together. All around the world. Alrighty. Messages for Pisces. This is the black and gold tarot. I'm going to be taking the cards that fall on the table, upright, specifically, okay? What does Pisces need to know right now? Okay, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I've been instructed to do a Celtic cross, so I'm going to do that, okay? First card that we have here, the Five of Swords. Right now, you may be experiencing perhaps a little bit of conflict, maybe with someone in your life. Let's see what else is coming through this Celtic cross so we can see the actual context. For those of you who wonder why I don't read reversals, it's just a personal, personal preference. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus at this time. Some of you may be choosing a different direction in regards to matters of uh, stability, perhaps money, finances, your lifestyle, the place you live in, your physical body. It seems as though something is changing for the better and you're starting that new path now. All right, I like this, Pisces. I like this quite a bit. Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. You may be feeling a little bit conflicted conflicted in regards to this person. Maybe you feel paralyzed. Maybe you're taking your time to think about things. Maybe... What I'm getting is that you're moving on from this person. Because maybe they make you feel very unstable. Or something here makes you feel very unstable and you're choosing to move away from it. It makes you feel triggered. It makes you feel an edge. Something makes you feel here just... You don't like the way it makes you feel. And so you're choosing to move away. To keep moving ahead. To keep going in your own path, in your own journey towards calmer waters, towards something better. However, you may run into this person in the near future here. And they may want to offer you a solid offer. It seems like they think that what they're offering is a solid offer, but it's not Pisces. With the king, with the knight, sorry, of pentacles in the challenge position, it's like maybe they want to be stable. Maybe they want to offer a solid offer to you. Maybe they want to offer you a commitment. But I think that they're not really in a position right now, energetically, vibrationally, emotionally, to be able to give you that. So this person could be um, writing ch checks that they can't cash, if that makes sense. Overpromising. And maybe genuinely, they really do feel like they can give you that. But time and time again, you're seeing or feeling or encountering disappointment with this person. As I mentioned earlier, and if I didn't, I do it now. Take what resonates with you. 
leave the rest as always Pisces. This could be a specific person. This could be a uh, romance. This could be a friend, a family member. Um, this could be a job. You know, take it as it resonates. But something here cannot give you the stability that maybe it wants to give you. I do see an honest desire to provide something to you, Pisces. But it comes across only as chaos. It just doesn't translate properly into reality. Maybe their intentions are pure. But it all comes out or arrives in your reality as chaos, conflict, drama, problems. And so you are choosing to walk away. Or at least you're thinking about it. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is a process that has a lot to offer for both of you in regards to growth or to everyone involved in regards to growth. This could also be like a group of people that can't seem to get along, can't seem to just get on the same page. But what the universe wants you to know is that you have no time to waste, Pisces. There's a lot of beautiful things waiting for you. And you have chosen you. And that's the right path. If you choose you, you have no obstacles here. You're moving towards calmer waters. And this is what's going to serve you. Giving you the actual stability that you're looking for. This is a change, technically. Because you're choosing to move on. But this change actually gives you more stability than staying put where you are. In your environment, you've got the Ace of Cups. Someone around you is offering their love to you. Their cup of love. They want to give you a sincere offer of friendship or romantic love, kindness, partnership. This could be the same person, could be another one. But if it's the same person that we're talking about here, there is a big chance that even though they want to offer you something, they can't seem to really make it happen for whatever reason. You're being very objective here, Pisces. You're seeing things for what they are. You're saying yes to what works for you. You're saying no to what does not work for you and even though they may have very good intentions if it does not show up in reality as you need it to what good is it right then you've got the seven of pentacles here you've been very patient maybe you've been patient with this person or you've been patient with um whatever situation we're talking about maybe you've been patient in your own life with yourself Putting in the efforts, the time, the energy to see what you want coming to life in your life. Coming to life in your life. <laughs> that sounded kind of weird, but I'm, I'm sticking to it. Let's see what the Oracle of the Mermaids says here. Let's see. So yeah, it's interesting. It's like... They may really want to give you something, but it's like they don't have that to give. It's like their cup is empty. And they really want to fill your cup with love, but it's like they have to do that for themselves first. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Playtime. I'm going to set all the cards and then I'm going to go ahead and put the messages. Some of you guys are carrying burdens that you really don't have to carry anymore. You've gotten used to life being a little bit harder than it needs to be. It can be easier. And even if you consider that you have an easy life, an easy routine, an easy schedule, it can be even easier. It can be even nicer for you. It's okay to set your sights higher. Increase your standards. Expect more for yourself, Pisces. Don't settle. And by simplifying your life, you become lighter. And that allows you to reach higher. 
Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. You're going to see how naturally when you simplify your life a bit and if you allow yourself also some playtime, meaning some time in nature or doing things that you find fun, if you can go out in your country going out and stuff, hanging out, if that is not something that you consider um, smart right now <laughs> or that you just don't want to do right now, then uh, finding ways to have fun on your own or at home or you know in your surrounding spaces in whatever way feels resonant to you. Bottom line, Pisces, you are really powerful. And whatever you want to manifest, you can. But you have to stop um, sort of like giving power away to people who can't give you what you need. Maybe they have the intention to, as we stated earlier, you know, maybe they really want to give you the world, but it seems like that's not possible here for whatever reason. It says, allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. You know, sometimes what I'm getting is that sometimes, Pisces, if you feel undeserving of good things, you may subconsciously be attracted to people who can't really give to you. And you may kind of like find yourself in this scenario like, I don't know, it's just... I am open to receive. I want to receive. I want to receive love and abundance, prosperity, fun. But you know, the people I'm with just don't have that to give. Well, there could be a underlining pattern in which you are being attracted to people who can't give you anything, who can't provide anything to you, because in some shape or form, you feel undeserving. Take it as if it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, don't try to force it. Don't try to make it work if it isn't working for you. Take it if you feel like that message is for you. All right, Pisces, this was a short one. Remember, if you ever want to say thanks, you can do so by purchasing our Pisces Club mug. There's another version that is Pisces AF for Pisces as fuck. <laughs> you can get that one too. And um, if you want to, you can also check out my book on Amazon. I wrote a few years back a novel inspired on my own spiritual journey. It's sort of like a fiction novel, but it's actually based on a real story, which is mine. <laughs> uh, all the information is going to be under this video. Today, the 15th, is the last day in which the New Year ritual is going to be available. So if you want to get it, you're still on time. It's $19.99. If you want to get it for free, you can do so by purchasing any of our $49 courses, okay? I'll see you in the next reading. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.